Hi, welcome back to Shirley DIY Design. Today I would like to ask you to go to Amazon.com and pick up a copy of my children's book, The Greedy Avis and L.A. Black Bear Guy. And thank you. Here today we're going to make up for this entertainment center. We're going to turn it into a modern fireplace and glam it out. Here we showing you how it looked before we got it. My husband found it on his rock when he was working for Waste Pro. And we're going to sand it down. And then, and that's what you see husband doing now. He's sanding it down. We're going to take out the top, pull out DVD shelf and put a shelf in there. And then the bottom one, we're going to take the brackets out of those. And we're going to add some uh, box uh, that you can store stuff in. This entertainment center is for my son. And we're going to cater to his colors that he likes and his stock and his needs. We took off the doors, which one door was already missing. We took out the shelves, as you can see here. So we're going to give it a good sand down. And bring it to its natural wood color. We're taking off the stain color. And here, I went ahead and stained it with um, my Minwax Gray Stain. And as you can see, you can see we already inserted the fireplace. And my husband built this frame so that the fireplace can sit down. And I'm pulling out so I can show you how the fireplace is inserted in there. And it was all stained. We left the sides areas the same with the stain on it because we're putting leather on the sides. And we're gonna frame it out. That's the leather that we're putting on. And that's the where we're gonna put the boxes at. We're gonna unscrew those take those out and my husband build these boxes and we're gonna screw them in so he can store it. Here I am I have sanded the doors and painted stained it gray and I'm spraying it with a silver chrome spray paint let it dry then here I put down some decoupage and some red fine glitter and now I'm gonna go back and put another layer of decoupage as you see here and then I'm gonna sprinkle over some red glass cut glass with mirrors. I have made my red cut glass because I couldn't find any. I bought some red ink and I dyed the glass and I put it out on a paper towel and let them dry. And now that's what you see me using here. I get my cut glass from Michaels and it comes with the clear white with mirrors pieces in it 
because I bought an uh, ink um, pack with different colors from Amazon, now I'm able to color my glass any colors I like. Here I'm adding a little more glitter in it and now I'm covering it with decoupage and then I'm going to let the, both of the doors dry. And it's going to take a while because I use a lot of decoupage because I want to really seal in the glitter and then cut glass. Because this is a door, you be opening and closing. And I don't want any of the glass to fall off. So I'm giving it a good coating. Here is my color I got for Amazon. It's a Rust-Oleum Gloss Colonial Red. But when it dries, it like a, like the color of a blood red. It's a beautiful color. And it matches the leather that we're putting on the side. So I painted it all inside. Let it dry. And here you see me adding the decoupage so I can put my cut glass on. And my cut glass on the front of going around the fireplace is going to be red with some plain clear white and silver glass. And also I did the same thing with the doors. I put the red glass but then I went back and put some the um, plain clear and silver and white cut glass to mix to a mixture. And here is where I was showing you my husband put the red leather on and then he took these pieces off. We got those from Lowe's and we spray paint them, frame it and frame it in. And to put mirrors, I wanted to decide to put mirrors on this and I had went to Lowe's and they cut me three mirrors, 36 inches in the middle and two 10 by 20 on each side. And I left a gap, a one inch gap in between the mirrors and then I put decoupage and put the glass inside those two air area and then on around the outside of the borders of the frame I also did the same thing. It was only a half inch left around the edge but down the middle it was an inch and this is the look we got. Isn't it beautiful? It came out wonderful. And my son loves it. And we did put a border around the outside frame to frame in the middle mirrors, as you can see here. And the cut glass is going around framing it. I think it came out beautiful. And it's sitting in my living room where we worked on it. So you see all kind of stuff in the background. Just ignore that. And look at the transformation of what we did with this entertainment center. Now it's a fireplace mirror entertainment center with cut glass. See the box? He can put movies, um, candies, uh, nuts and stuff in there, stored in there. He got a shelf we made and put in there that he can store stuff in. It it's just came out beautiful. And this is catered to him. This is his style. And I love the leather on the sides. And I like the three different mirror areas. With the glass. Cut glass going through. If you like this. Please share it with someone. Like, share, and subscribe. And we put little handles on the door, on the little um, drawers that you can pull out. You can pull them in and out, store stuff in them. It's just beautiful. I blinged it out. And my husband made those. See how that red and clear cut glass look together? 
it's beautiful and then I just love the way the colors came through Thank you for watching, you beautiful people. Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.